Hey, what's up guys? I am Joe from Workbench, and this week we're gonna look at one more cool thing you can do with SetMat, which I like to call specific transparency. So this week we're gonna build off of the technique from last week, and that's namely set mat. I have this bar set to 50% opacity, but I actually only want it to be transparent over the logo. I wanna keep the proper color consistent over the background. That's useful when your client has like a specific color palette and you don't really wanna deviate from it too much. Or if you have something like this bar right here and you want to maintain this kind of strip in the middle, but you need them both to be their correct color. So let's go to this comp. I have the same bar set to the same transparency. And if we move it over here, you can see that it covers the logo the same way. So I'm gonna click on this bar right here and I'm gonna go up to edit and I'm gonna copy with relative property links. So that's gonna allow me to paste in a layer that's a duplicate of the one that I copied, but it's also gonna use expressions to link to the original so that anything I do to the original one will happen to the copy. The difference between property links and relative property links is that property links looks back to the comp that it came from and relative looks to the comp that it's in. If you're confused by what I just said, use relative. Keep in mind if you copy with property links while you already have effects on your layer, those effects will also be linked to each other. All right, so that does nothing apparently, right? Because it said copy, remember? So what we're gonna do is move to the front here and paste. So for clarity, let's name this thing bar and put like a T so that we know it's transparent because what'll happen to you since it just happened to me while I was recording this, is that you're gonna end up putting your set mat on the wrong layer or something at some point. So to keep them separated in your head, name it. All right, we're gonna select both layers, we're gonna hit T, and we're gonna change the bottom layer's opacity to 100%. And you're gonna notice a problem. Remember, it's linked. So we're gonna open up this disclosure triangle, and we're just gonna delete this expression out of here. So now they can be independent of each other. We're gonna make sure our bar is selected, and we're gonna add set mat. So I'm gonna pick WB for our mat layer, and then we're gonna invert the mat. So now if we select position, we can move through and you see it goes transparent over the W, but we're not transparent in the background. And you can check that by turning on the transparency switch and turning off our background layer. All right, so let's go back. So you might have another issue. Depending on what you have this over, you might see that there's like a gap in here. That's pretty simple to fix. All we're gonna do is click on our bar layer again, add in simple choker and give it a negative value. I'm gonna go with like negative 0.2. You might even be able to do less than that, but you can't really tell the difference between here, especially when this is moving. You can also use this to have like wipes that change color over the object. Let me show you what I mean. We're gonna set this back up to 100% opacity. Then we're gonna click on this layer, hit UU, because remember our colors are linked too. So I'm gonna scroll down to fill color. I'm gonna select the expression and delete it. Then I'm gonna select the fill color. I'm gonna pick another color. You notice we have one more issue. This layer doesn't have any sort of mat. So I'm just gonna hit U, to close that down real quick. Select the bar layer, copy set mat and simple choker out of there. Paste into bar T. Make sure we go back to inverting our mat again. And in this case, we wanna go positive 0.2 to get rid of any gaps. Now you can swipe this across and it'll change color instead of just being transparent over top of it. So that's how you get that effect where you have like something wipe over and it changes the color temporarily. All right, guys, that's it for this week. Set mat is a very versatile effect that you should keep in your toolbox. And don't forget about copying with property links either. All right, as always, if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you want to help support what I do, check out patreon.com slash workbench. And make sure you follow us on workbench.tv for more great content. I am Joe, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.